Hello everyone, my name is Matiana and welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my new subscribers and my new viewers. I'm basically back to make a video about me going a whole entire year without wearing weave and braids and no extension, just wearing my hair simply because I did have a hair transplant done and I couldn't be adding all those stressful stuff like grays and weed to, to stress out my new hair growth and I had to let it grow. And it caused me to go a whole year without wearing weed. So if you want to see the things I learned after going one whole entire year without wearing weed, keep watching. Some of the most important things that I learned and some extra is the number one thing is I have saved up so much money. Paying for the weave, the braid hair, and having to also pay somebody to put it in, driving to that person's location, buying lunch and breakfast and coffee, all of that while they're doing my hair. I didn't have to do any of that. I was able to save all that money and I even Took it up on myself to put it on a piece of paper to see how much money exactly did I save by going one whole year without doing those things. And if you want to see a video of the breakdown, I'll be happy to make a video on that. And I was shocked by how much I was spending yearly by putting weaves and braids in my hair. Although I do enjoy braids, I really enjoy braids. But to see that I went a whole year without those things and that was just extra money in my pocket, I was just blown away. I've saved up so much time. I didn't find myself spending my whole Saturday or Sunday just getting my hair done. And by the time my hair is done, my weekend is over, I haven't had time to do anything and I had to go right back to work. So I saved up so much time not getting my hair done for a whole year. And then some of the other things that I have also learned is it kind of forced me to get to truly know my hair. So I believe that this one year of not wearing any weave braids, it kind of caused me and in a way kind of forced me to learn my hair. Like if I'm having a bad day or um, I don't have time to do my hair. Usually the quick fix is spend more time putting weave in so I can go a few more weeks or one or two months without having to worry about my hair. But not having weave kind of forced me to kind of be able to wake up and day to day and deal with my hair. If I wake up one day and I'm having a bad hair day or I have to go to work, I get called in to go to work. I was able to learn really fast and quick ways to fix my hair and rush out the door. Which are some of the things that I could never do before. Before I had to plan ahead and then put a bonnet or scarf on my head. That way by the morning my hair is ready. But this time it kind of forced me to just basically be able to find a quick fix to my hair and run throughout the door. It has also helped me to know when my hair needs to be washed, to listen to my scalp because you know I do have some scalp issues and not wearing any wigs or weave, I was able to literally count like how many days exactly before my scalp start to act on me, start having like these crazy weird reactions. Once I wash my hair from wash day, I can literally know around what time my scalp is going to start drying and flaking and itching. So I do know that about my hair, which I didn't know before. I can either plan my next wash day around that time, or I have learned to kind of like spray my scalp with like a liquid leave-in conditioner or like a little bit of oil and really like massage my hair and then kind of like scoop and spread. And I learned that term from Green Beauty. Because I usually don't put anything on my scalp, but I, I feel like maybe sometimes the sebum kind of get like so heavy on my scalp and it causes my scalp to start irritating me. So once it gets to that time, I take the time, I really massage my hair as if I'm washing it, like really, really massage and pull it through my strand and I notice the itching stops a little bit and I'm able to go a few more days before wash day. 
and I've learned how to use products I truly although I am a product junkie I have finally learned that I don't need to put 10,000 products in my hair before my hair does anything this is a, a twist out that I had for like I would say it's been over a week now but it's still looking good because and I did this twist out just using like two products a leave-in and then a moisturizer there's not even like a, there's no twisting cream no twisting butter just a moisturizer because I have mastered my hair now I know what my hair needs what my hair wants I know how to deal with it so some of the stuff I used to have a hard time with are now like very simple So although at one point in my journey of the entire year, I'm not gonna say it was just easy to just get just just do the whole entire year without weave, but there were times where I really felt like putting braids in my hair. I wanted to do something to my hair, and I made a video on it, and all my wonderful viewers and subscribers reminded me to be brave and to wait for that whole one year mark before I start touching my hair. These have been some of the benefits of wearing my hair an entire year without weave and I am so amazed and I am so happy I did this. I think that the last time that I went a whole year without weave was when I was maybe in high school or middle school. <laughs> So it has been like many, many, many years ever since I went a whole year without anything in my hair and I'm happy I did this around because it caused me to learn a little bit more about my hair. It caused me to take better care of my own hair. Leave all questions and comments down below and I'll see you in the next video.